Welcome to British Columbia, the place where LNG Canada is proposing to build and operate an LNG export facility. We considered more than 500 sites before selecting our site in Kitimat, which is at the mouth of the Douglas Channel in the traditional territory of the High Slough Nation. Let's go on a journey and see what our site will look like at full build out. If you look on the right of the screen as we head up the Douglas Channel towards the LNG Canada Marine Terminal, you see the High Slough Nation's Kitimat Village. The Heisla and other Aboriginal groups in the area hold important traditional knowledge, which we incorporated into our project planning and design. Straight ahead is the Marine Terminal, which will accommodate two LNG carriers. At full build-out, there will be one carrier coming into the terminal and one leaving almost every day. The carriers will be assisted into port by tugboats. As we come onto the site, you see the Kitimat River Estuary. This area has many valuable ecological features, including creeks and waterways, and is rich in both marine and plant life. Designing our facility footprint to protect the natural environment was of paramount importance and a responsibility that we took very seriously. As we fly over the site, you see four LNG processing units, also referred to as LNG trains. Our plan is to build our facility in two phases, each phase consisting of two trains. Construction of the two phases will take four to five years before the first LNG cargo is ready to be shipped overseas. Now that you have an idea what the entire site looks like, let's go into more detail on specific components. The rail yard near the bottom of the screen already exists and will be used to remove light condensate, which is a natural byproduct of turning natural gas into liquid. At the entrance to the site, we'll have new administration buildings, employee parking, a dedicated LNG Canada fire hall, and a BC Hydro substation. LNG Canada will draw fresh water for facility process needs from the Kitimat River. Any return water will be sent to a water treatment facility before being released back into the Douglas Channel. On the left of the Kitimat River is where the coastal gas link pipeline brings natural gas into the site for processing. The aerial view shows the relationship between our site and the District of Kitimat. The strong support the Kitimat community and the Heisla Nation have demonstrated for our project is very important to us and puts our project at the forefront of the LNG industry in British Columbia. As we continue on our journey, the daylight is beginning to fade. So let's finish our tour before darkness falls. Floor stacks can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Every LNG facility has them. They serve as safety devices designed to burn gases safely and efficiently under all conditions. When the facility is operating normally, residents can expect to see a small, clean burning flame, essentially a pilot light, at the top of the stacks. Visually prominent on the site are two large storage tanks, where the LNG, now in liquid form, is piped and remains until loaded via insulated loading lines onto waiting LNG carriers at the wharf. The heart of the site is the LNG processing units. A series of pressure vessels, heat exchangers, compressors, and pumps. This is where the gas is processed, then chilled to around minus 162 degrees Celsius, at which temperature it turns into liquid. When built, the LNG Canada project will be one of the largest energy infrastructure projects ever built in Canada. Safety of the community, the environment, and our employees and contractors has been and will continue to be foremost in every decision we make. We look forward to contributing to the local, provincial, and national economies and being a vital and responsible member of the Kitimat community. Thank you for joining us on our tour of our proposed facility.